Hey guys, so for this tutorial we're going to be covering the basics of NetBeans which is a really easy to use GUI building tool for Java. So before we get started we need to download two, two pieces of software and the first one is a Java development kit so we just have to type in JDK into Google and click on the first link that shows up. I will provide all the download links in the description. So the latest version of the JDK is 7U13. Now we do not want this one because it causes problems with the setup package that we're going to be using later. So we're going to scroll down and look for Java SE6 Update 39. We're just going to click download. So we have to accept the license agreement and then pick the operating system that you use. I use Windows 64 bit, so I would download that. If you use Linux 64 bit, you would download that. So while that's downloading, we also need to get NetBeans. Just type in NetBeans into Google and click on the first link. So the latest one is NetBeans 7.2. And all we have to do is click on download. And you'll find a whole bunch of bundles. Now, they all do the same except for the C or C++. That's obviously not Java, which is not what we want. So we're going to go for the simple edition. And that's only 77 megabytes. It has everything that we need for all our projects. So you just have to click on download and I already have this so I'm just going to close this window. Now we can get started into NetBeans so let's open it. Okay so this is how your NetBeans should start up. You might have a welcome screen but you can just close that. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new project. On the top left hand side you can see file new project and in the categories you want to go with Java projects Java application click on next and we can name this anything that we want now since Valentine's Day is only four days away I'm going to do something along those lines. So I'm going to call this Valentine's Project. Now you can name this thing anything you want. It's not going to affect anything in the future. And you can leave everything standard except for this where it says create main class. We do not want to create a main class so we're just going to uncheck that. Click on finish. On the left hand side we can see a few folders and everything. Now what we want to do is first check if we are using the correct JDK which we downloaded earlier. So we have to right click on the one that has a copy cup next to it which is our main project. So right click on Valentine's project, go down to properties and we're going to click libraries on the left hand side. Now you may see you have JDK 1.6 or 1.7. We want to make sure we chose 1.6 so just click on that and we're going to click OK. I'll be going to expand the source packages file. So click on the plus icon on the left hand side. And you should see we have a default package. Now, NetBeans recommends we don't use a default package to put all our files, pictures, JFrames, or any of that in there. So we have to right click on that, new, Java package. And just by habit, I name them all app package. You can name it anything you want. Click on finish. Now you can see nothing happened except we have this new package called app package. Now obviously we want to see our frame so right click on app package, go to new and it's right here, JFrame form. So click on that. Now it asks us for a class name. Now I'm just going to name this start GUI. Basically whenever you create a JFrame you want to have the letter is GUI which stands for graphical user interface at the end of it so if you have a whole lot of files or folders you know which one's which so start GUI. I can see we have a few more things on our screen and this is the main thing right here. You can see that we can drag it to any size that we want and our width and height is specified on the corner right where I'm moving the mouse. So I'm just going to create something about that big. Now the way we want to actually start up and see our progress, we can use the design view, preview design, which starts up like this. Now, this is not the best way to do it. We might as well just clean and build the project and run it so we can see what it actually starts up and looks like. So we're going to click this hammer and this brush, I guess, which is called clean and build. So bottom left it says finish building Valentine's project. Now we can click on the green play button and select the main class which is the first one, that's the only one there. On the top left hand side you can see we have a window. Now this is the start of our application. On the left hand side you can see we have a copy cup and we can click on close which everything works fine. Now 
the problem as you can see is in design view it starts up in the middle and it has this text on the top whereas if we run it it starts up in the left hand side the run the run function is more accurate than the preview function so now let's move on to some properties of this j frame which is what we call it and this will this will house all our panels labels anything of that nature so i'm just going to delete those now then we want to set up a few properties so we're going to click on our j frame right click down there properties and this is our j frame properties now default close operation now this is what it does when you click the red x now we want it to exit on close which means that the entire program will be cleared out of the RAM and it will be closed. So you can also have it do nothing if you don't want people clicking the red X. Dispose which will hide only the current open GUI which will be very useful in the future as we will see. Now the title is quite a nice feature. Now because we have something named Valentine's Project we're going to just type in Valentine's Day and I'm just going to close this and show you what it looks like run this and you can now see on the top left hand side it says Valentine's Day gift now you can put whatever you want in there so let's go back to the properties always on top we won't fill it with that right now now resizable is something that might cause problems in the future now when I build my programs I usually never have it as resizable so I was make that false so untick that now you can see we no longer can resize this in any direction so once we have that we also realize that it's running on the top left hand side which is pretty inconvenient we want it to start in the middle of our screen so we're going to go back into properties now we aren't going to fiddle around with the properties anymore we're actually going to go on to the code tab on the top right hand side and we can see form size policy we're going to change generate pack to generate resize code and we are going to generate center a tick generate size we're going to untick that click on close clean and build and run it and now you can see it starts up in the middle of our screen now in the next tutorial we'll be playing around with all of these functions on the right hand side swing menus ok buttons which look like that and we'll be adding a background to our program so it looks a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. Thanks for watching.